if you want to, to produce a pure uh, compound and sell it, uh, you, have to care, you, you have to care for the cost. You have to produce as much as you can afford. Uh, and then you find that uh, you can push much beyond the limit that analysts, analysts would think uh, possible. But you have to not to go too far. Analytical chemistry in general, chromatography in particular, are uh, far less considered than they used to be in the academic world. Uh, there's a number of universities which have just which have got rid of the analytical chemistry department or division uh, or position. There are very few, I mean, there are very few professors of analytical chemistry now in uh, most uh, leading universities. And uh, that's uh, bad because uh, analytical chemistry is uh, the science of most uh, regulations. Uh, take EPA, take FDA, they have thousands of analytical chemists there and they spend a huge amount of money to control uh, what uh, about a third uh, or more of the of the American economy. <laughs> While you always have people who know about, who find problems and get, and uh, guess that they can get a good grant uh, in the, uh, try uh, uh, to solve the problem. This is, uh, but, an <laughs> ethical uh, uh, chemistry is, valued in the chemistry departments in, the, in America uh, as a function of the amount of money uh, they need to, uh, to buy and uh, operate their instruments. So mass spectrometry, which is uh, uh, run at a million or two million dollars a pop per uh, instrument, or ma uh, resonance magnetic nuclear, still get some support uh, and in part because many chemists, organic chemists, uh, inorganic chemists, biochemists need those analysis but uh, that tend to be uh, separated from the teaching. In other words, you have a laboratory of uh, nuclear magnetic resonance, a laboratory of, or a center or of mass spectrometry, you do not have a professor of mass spectrometry. There are still a few, but uh, they are not replaced. Listen, I came when I when I left France. I was at the top of the organization of chemistry. I didn't like it, but that's another problem. <coughs> when I came here, I decided I wasn't going to try to to, to even try uh, to teach my uh, department chairman how to run a good French department. Well, unfortunately, I cannot make a much experiments. You know, uh, my uh, hands are about as skilled as my legs, so uh, I can't. Uh, I can supervise instruments. I can instruct, people, suggest people to make experiments. Uh, I can suggest more or less strongly. But <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's about all what I can do. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. I cannot. So what I enjoy is uh, looking at the results and trying to interpret them. <laughs>